My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. How cool is this? A Volkswagen bus fully decked out. It's got the 23 windows, roof racks, the convertible top, the whole camper package. This thing has just finished a rotisserie restoration. Everything's done inside and out to really high quality standards. You know what? This thing is just fun. I can tell you, I was shocked at how many people just gravitated this to our showroom the last couple weeks. Other than our movie cars, more people have been taking pictures next to this than any car in our inventory. It's just going to bring a lot of smiles no matter where you take it. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study the pictures. That's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. Volocars.com. If you enjoy our YouTube videos, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. We're not going to go very fast, though. It's the one thing about these, 38 horsepower. So you're not in a big hurry anyway when you go out with this. It's to enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey. Um, typically, I start underneath. This one is all clean metal. It's painted this bright, glossy red. Uh, the suspension's all rebuilt and painted. You see new nuts and bolts, new shocks. Uh, the brakes have all been redone. So underneath is as pretty as it is on top. Now this is a 1973 Volkswagen. Uh, Brazil quit importing cars uh, at that time. I don't know what their status is now. So they started building their own cars. So Volkswagen was building these in Brazil in 1973. This one here was built. So it's not one of the originals from Germany from the 60s. Uh, but it still has all the great features. You know, the 23 window has the corner glass and the upper windows. I mean, this is fully decked out. This is the ultimate Volkswagen bus right here. So the body is excellent. Big flat panel and it's straight. It's not wavy. Uh, so make sure that's shut. Anyway, it's straight. No signs of rust or damage. Smooth, glossy paint. I can see my reflection. The white is just as smooth and glossy. I've just spent the last half hour just going around this, writing my notes. Uh, it's really well done, uh, cool vehicle. Uh, it has the Cyclops uh, headlight, which is really cool. It's got the V uh, trim. This trim is polished all the way around. It's got the red stripe in the middle, big chrome VW, painted bumpers. The swing out windshields, very cool. Both of them do open up. It has a little hook here. You have to hook the wipers into place when you open the windshields. And all the little chrome hardware, the window frames, excellent. I think all the glass is new too. Uh, well, I shouldn't say all of it, it all looks crystal clear. It might all be new, but it's nice tinted glass. They slide back and forth. All the rubber gaskets, they've all been replaced all around. Look these windows open, a whole bunch of windows pop open. Uh, it has a locking gas door. I have the tool inside to open that. Have you noticed the aluminum uh, running board so you can step in a little easier. Uh, motor compartment, it's rebuilt, you know, like original. Uh, it's four cylinder motor, the carburetor uh, looks new. All the wires, all the components are painted. The nuts and bolts and gaskets are new. Battery and cables are new. So it's like show quality in there. You can open that up when you get to the car show to show it off. Uh, two roof racks with the ladder. Uh, just a cool feature, again, just adds to the pizzazz. Uh, radial tires, they're new. I still see the nubs on the tread. The rims are painted with new caps and trim rings. The entire interior is, is really impressive. They gutted it completely, prepped and painted all of it. It's white. I lifted the seats up. It's all smooth, glossy white metal. The dash, the pillars, all the trim around the door frames. Everything was painted inside here. Then up front in the driver's compartment has uh, 
real nice carpet on the floor with bound edges. Uh, the upholstery is really nice, this vintage style plaid with uh, some real premium vinyl and white stitching. It all fits really nicely. So you got you know new cushion, uh, the door panels match, and the details, all the chrome buttons and handles and knobs, uh, it all looks like it's redone. It said under the seat here, there's storage compartment. There's a spare tire and the rim is painted. They've added a fan, a little wire basket with cup holders. You got the tray down below there. Uh, just cool stuff. And it is the camper edition. So we'll get right back to that. I'm going to open up the tailgate here. There we go. The neat part about this, and I just read it online as doing my research, this popped up under uh, campers. They said it's one of the best campers because it's small. You can park this in your garage. You just got to make sure you have enough height. Your door opens. But this is small, versatile. You can use this as your everyday car, and you can take it camping on the weekends. Uh, but getting back inside here, uh, it even has upholstered boots around the shifter and around the uh, e-brake handle. It's got a brand new fire extinguisher sitting here. Uh, the white perforated headliner front to back is new. The visors are new. This has the uh, ventilation. The air goes in through here and can blow right down on you. That metal piece is up in the headliner. Uh, it's all painted and real nice. There's also an LED interior light. This was completely professionally done. The cabinetry is excellent. It's like you're in a brand new motor home. Uh, all the doors, all the edges are done. It's done on all sides. It's not just a, a bare you know, back on the cabinets. Every, every surface of the cabinets inside and out is refinished. It's all the premium hinges. <clears throat> You fill this with water and you, I assume you pump it or maybe it's electric and then uh, you have your sink. It has, looks like an electric stove top. There's also a refrigerator in here, uh, but there is a plug. You have to be plugged in for that to work. Uh, you got curtains, real nice new curtains all around. It has these chrome bars on the inside or on the back windows. Again, the nuts and bolts, this upholstered panel, it's all mint. Uh, you got this cushion, matches the rest, it's painted underneath there. You got storage cabinets on the side. It smells new inside here. And you go all the way around again. Um, that seat does fold down. It's a bench seat. It folds down, makes a bed. Uh, under the seat is more storage. You got cabinets over to the side. And again, I was really impressed. This is not hokey. This is not someone doing it out of their garage. This looks like a professional cabinet maker or someone who makes motorhomes for a living did the interior on this thing. It's that good a quality. You got laminate floors, you got a table that pops up, and they say this is a seven passenger. So if you wanted to take your family uh, you know, out to dinner or to a car show, uh, you fit three in front, three there, and there's a little buddy seat over there on the side. So you can take a group of people uh, to a you know, baseball game, uh, whatever it is you had in mind, It'd be lots of fun. The refrigerators in here, storage compartments underneath. Oh, I forgot to mention the, the top. This is the convertible top. It's all new, it's mint, it's working properly. Uh, it's really nice shape, not torn or ripped till I'm done with it here, maybe, but. And then this uh, bed pulls out, it's actually on a like a professional hinged system like you'd find in a camper. It's not just something hokey where you have to put milk crates under it. So there you got a nice bed. Again, all the cushion, everything about it's excellent. Headliner's nice. This is a quality restoration. And I'm telling you, it's just, it's just a fun vehicle. People were loving it. I was excited to get it. I couldn't wait. And then when I seen the reaction in our showroom, 100% thrilled that we made the decision to buy it. You know, if you're going down the road kind of slow, it don't matter. People are going to wave. They're not going to give you the finger. They're going to wave and they're going to smile and laugh. I didn't even touch the gas pedal. 
See how the lights work and even the side claps. We got an LED light inside here. You have the electric wipers. Like I said both windshields do open. You never drove one it's kind of interesting because this you're sitting out past the wheels it's just a different feeling when you're parking up close runs nice two settings. You can open it up even higher. So there you have it, just a fun, cool vehicle. I don't care what car show you go to, I don't care what million dollar car is sitting next to you, this is gonna get as much or more attention. And it's a good, honest attention. People aren't looking at you, you know, like you're uh, rich or snobbish or whatever, it's just fun. So there you have it, that's my impression of this VW bus. Go to volocars.com, there's plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask. They'll help you the best they can. They can also help with financing, delivery. So there you go. And also, if you'd like to join our, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can do that. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. I was just going to say, I was just thinking how fun this would be at a cruise night. You can really do it up. You can get some fishing tackle in here. You, you just have so much fun with this. Anyway. There you go. Thanks for watching.